Last night, 7.30, Austin Novosad, quarterback at Ripping Springs High School, who committed to Baylor in December, reaffirmed that commitment after taking more visits in the last few weeks. And he joins us on 365 Sports and Sikkim 365 Radio. Craig Smoke, Paul Catalina, and David Smoke. Uh, Austin, thanks for your time. I'm sure it's been a busy, it's been a busy summer for you. Did you feel any kind of sense of relief after 7.30 last night? Yes, sir. I mean, it's been a long recruiting process for me, um, you know, but getting that recruitment kind of wrapped up and feeling confident about your decision was definitely a relief for me. Austin, what was it like to, I mean, you committed it to Baylor early on, but then here in the last couple of months, all of a sudden, everybody kind of wants to get a, a piece of you and, and, and get and see you and bring you in. How difficult did that make it? I'm sure you had a little fun with it, but what was the whole process of all of a sudden Ohio State and Notre Dame and A&M, all these people who hadn't called you before, all of a sudden pick up the phone? Yes, I mean, getting out to those big-time programs and, you know, making a relationship with those coaches, you know, you never know if those guys are going to be in the NFL or uh, where, they'll, where they'll be. And I think just seeing those programs and how they run, um, I think was definitely a, you know, a great experience. And, you know, a lot of kids don't get to do this. So for me, just getting out there and checking everything out and making sure that I was going to go to the best college that fit me the best. And I think that, you know, ultimately I got to see everywhere and, um, you know, Baylor was the place in the end. So it was definitely a fun experience. So uh, Austin, how did you reveal the news to the coaching staff? Kind of take us through that. Um, so it was actually yesterday uh, about midday, um, you know, I told Coach Bell and Coach Aranda, and, you know, actually he, he uh, made me say it again. You know, I, I was like, yeah, Coach, I'm going to come to Baylor. And uh, he put me on speakerphone, and the whole staff was in the room. And, um, you know, they were very excited, you know, to kind of get that, um, I guess, that confident feeling that I was coming. And so then I was like, yeah, uh, tonight I'll post it. And so uh, that's kind of how it went down. Austin, how much of this also your decision? We know the parents, your parents, uh, obviously were A&M graduates. How much of your decision is you wanting to build your own legacy? Yeah, I mean, both my parents went to A&M, you know, growing up um, in Aggie and, um, you know, know all their traditions. But I think that, you know, for me, uh, just getting to Baylor and kind of doing my own thing and getting developed by Coach Bell, I think um, is kind of what I wanted to do and, um, I think I can be very successful there. How impressed were you with how the Baylor coaches handled these trips just to make sure you were understanding of, of who and what you were looking at in the future? Yeah, they were very respectful. And I think, you know, Coach Aranda ha handled it great. Um, you know, let me get to see these schools because, um, you know, before every visit I let him know um, where I was going. And he was like, look, Austin, I just want the best for you and, um, I want you to go see all the opportunities that you have. And so I think that that was, um, you know, great. And I think that, you know, I respect him a lot for doing that. So um, they all handled it great, him and Coach Bell and Coach Grimes. Um, you know, it was good. Did you ever wobble on your commitment to Baylor? Was there ever a time you thought that that quite maybe wasn't going to happen? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely times it got, you know, close and um, – you know, other schools um, in the recruiting process did kind of gain my interest. You know, at one time, I mean, I thought about it, um, you know, going somewhere else, but, you know, um, kind of looked back and just kind of really thought to myself, what's the best uh, spot for me and where I can, you know, have the most success. And, you know, that kind of always trended back to Baylor. So I think that's kind of what made me kind of um, get back to Baylor. And I think taking those last couple of visits, um, over this last month, I think, really just kind of put icing on the cake and, um, you know, kind of ultimately close my de decision. What's it like, though, to walk into a room and then you've got Ryan Day or Marcus Freeman or Jimbo Fisher and all these people, uh, you know, uh, pitching you all of a sudden? Yeah, I mean, you know, the best of the best. They're all great coaches. All the programs were good, uh, but they were all different, you know, um, different philosophies, um, different staff and I think that you know just getting to hear all the knowledge that they have I took in a lot from uh, all these programs and I think it was a good experience for me so. how unique is Dave Aranda because on the outside looking in he appears pretty unique and getting to hear him more often than most I mean he, he seems unique compared to most coaches but having you know 
had uh, the experiences with, with several others. How, how unique is Dave Wren in your mind? Yeah, I mean, he's just such a genuine guy. He cares a lot about all his players, um, the families he's recruiting, um, everyone. And I think that, you know, he's a soft-spoken guy, but the words that he puts out are just so meaningful. And I think that he handles every situation the best that it can be. Um, you know, and I think that people, when they get on campus, they notice that. And I, you know, I definitely notice that. And so, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. So tell me about your buddies. I think we're over at the house last night I, when you made it official. But did you guys play a joke on one of your friends? Was there some kind of jersey that others were wearing when he was there? Can you kind of clean, kind of clean that up for me? Yeah, I mean, you know, my friends, they were all um, over. And one of my friends, you know, he's, he's the, you know, they're all in my recruitment and stuff and, um, you know, have supported me throughout the way. And, you know, they got kind of confused at the end. Um, you know, and I thought I was just messing with him, but I had on a Notre Dame shirt. My whole family put on a Notre Dame shirt because we had some green and white balloons, um, you know, obviously for Baylor, but he thought it was Notre Dame, and so he got all excited, and then uh, it was Baylor. And so it was kind of funny just to mess with him, but, uh, you know, it was a good decision for me. So. Austin Novosad, quarterback, Dripping Springs High School with us. Baylor commitment on Sikkim 365 Radio, 365 Sports. Now, Austin, do you go to work uh, closing whatever else has to be closed? Do you Have you talked to other recruits since you've, you've committed? Yes, yeah, sir, I have. I mean, I've, um, you know, met them all at the barbecue, the ones that I haven't met. But, uh, yeah, I've talked to most of them, so uh, they all know and everything. We're all good. What was it like knowing that – there was an idea of your talent maybe a year or even before then with what you have, the arm talent and what you do as a quarterback, but that maybe some weren't so sure. And then all of a sudden you start rising up the ranks, the elite 11, of course, which was earlier this summer camps, even before then, what was the interest like from a lot of coaches that maybe initially did not think you were for them? Yeah, I mean, I think I always kind of saw it, um, you know, probably my freshman year, um, you know, I thought that I could do it. And I think that, you know, just kind of being an uh, under-the-radar kid, I think I just kind of um, let the media do their thing and I put my head down and worked. And then I think that, you know, just getting the exposure that I did, it finally got noticed. And so uh, then coaches started to call and then, uh, you know, I started getting recognized. And I think that from there, you know, once you kind of get out there, I think it kind of the work – pays off and um, it kind of goes from there were there coaches that maybe a year ago or so saw you but they didn't really go in with you or weren't that interested and then all of a sudden later on they were that maybe yeah, re maybe they, regret what they were doing before yeah i mean one you know just actually my first call ever was probably my sophomore year um during track season i was about to run a race and uh you know, I called my dad. I was super happy. But, you know, Penn State was actually my very first call. And, uh, you know, they never offered, but we had stayed in contact. I went up there and camped and stuff. Um, but, you know, that was just kind of one that, you know, they didn't they didn't go all in, but we had talked. And then, uh, you know, there was a couple others too. But, uh, you know, most did jump in um, after Austin Novosad, Dripping Springs High School, Baylor commit, uh, Sikkim 365 Radio, 365 Sports. So practices have begun. I don't know if you guys are yet through that as far as the official start. Of course, yesterday for most of the state of Texas. What's that? Is the timing of that one reason why you made the decision now to get it out of the way? It was. I mean, I definitely wanted to just have it closed before my season. And I think that, you know, this senior season is very important and, you know, I kind of wanted to be done with the recruiting process so I can just be all in and give my team everything I have, you know, because I think the recruiting process doesn't distract you, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, your focus isn't all on your senior season if you're messing with uh, other coaches or calls or whatever you got going on. So I think that, you know, having it done for me was a big deal. Um, you know, I'm glad that I got it done. What did you learn about yourself during this process? Yeah, I mean, just you know, I think I'm very calm and collected. You know, I think I handled it from what other coaches say um, the right way. And I think that, you know, just finding the best place for me um, throughout this process was a big deal. And so um, 
making sure that I called all the coaches before I did commit to Baylor and, you know, doing doing it the right way um, was kind of what I learned about me. One more thing, Austin. You uh, obviously mentioned Aranda's personality, and, and I've been told you have maybe more close to his personality or maybe Jeff Grimes. How do you describe Sean Bell's personality throughout this entire time? Gosh, I mean, you know, one thing me and Coach Bell have in common is just the competitiveness, you know, um, always competing. And I think that, you know, that's a big part of me. And, you know, Coach Aranda is very competitive too. He just a, He's just a little bit more quiet than, you know, me or Coach Bell. And I think that, you know, everyone on the whole staff wants to win. Um, you know, you just get there either at, you know, the barbecue or the OV, whatever it was. You know, we were always playing games and um, competing. So I think that's, you know, that's something we all have in common. Dripping Springs now 6A, Westlake, Lake Travis, among others now that are on the schedule. Austin, thanks for your time. Uh, I, I think it's great what you did. Uh, and if you had committed somewhere else, I just think it's great that you wanted to make sure. Thanks for your time. Good luck this season, your senior year. We'll talk to you again very soon. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Austin Novasad, uh, Dripping Springs quarterback, committed to Baylor and then went on some trips. How about if you had a chance to visit Notre Dame and then Ohio State with what they've done with their quarterback play with Ryan Day and then also and even before then and then also where well, your mom and dad went to school at A&M and what they're doing with their recruiting a part of the SEC and the push that they've made in recent years. And he sticks with Baylor and also Dave Aranda, Jeff Grimes, Sean Bell and company. This is Sikkim 365 Radio.